stop paying $7 for cold brew. Make it at home quick and easy. What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Coffee and this is episode 30 of Coffee with Chris. Now, in this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make cold brew at home super easy, super cheap, and super quick. No real equipment required, and you're gonna make delicious cold brew so you can avoid spending like seven or eight bucks on cold brew when you go out. So, first things first, you're gonna need a basic French press, a scale, and cold cold water, and some ground coffee, coarsely ground coffee. Um, this is just in a kettle, as this water is cold, it's just in a kettle because it was the only vessel I kinda had to carry that much water down here so first things first the ratio for cold brew is seven parts water to one part coffee so for this particular French press I'm gonna have 700 grams of water 100 grams of ground coffee coarsely ground so seven to one is the ratio to follow depending on the size of the the device you're brewing it in you'll have to adjust adjust the the ratio to make it work for you but seven to one now, keep in mind, the liquid that we make with this, with this ratio, the 7 to 1 ratio, is going to be what's called a cold brew concentrate. So I recommend diluting that ratio when you go to enjoy it with either water or any of your favorite milks. You can dilute the ratio 1 to 1. So this is going to make, you know, roughly 700 grams, a little less, of, of concentrate. But you're going to technically have about 1,400 grams of drinkable liquid from this because you're diluting it one to one so super simple pop the french press on our scale first things first we're gonna add our 100 grams of coffee now i already measured this but we can uh we can we can do it again i already I, it's pre-measured for, just for the sake of speed in this video so there we go and now we're gonna add all of our cold water right on top now like try to get this all wet but we're gonna stir this pretty heavily after so it's not imperative that you get everything soaked on the first go I mean you're gonna have to kind of beat this up for a while all right so now that this is all filled up take a plastic or wooden stirring device and just get this all worked around and really get the stir going do not slack on stirring here this is imperative because the the cold water tends to make it kind of harder for everything to mix up nicely so just stir this up Yeah, all right, perfect. And then once you're done stirring, super simple. Pop the top on, and you're gonna leave this in your fridge for 18 to 24 hours. That's kind of the range. So depending on how strong you like it, you can play with this. 18 hours is a great place to start. So if you make this in the afternoon, by the next morning, it'll be good to go. That's what I'd recommend. And then you just, once it's done, so 18 hours later, <laughs> you come, you plunge, your, you plunge this thing, and you're good to go. You have cold brew concentrate. So remember, this is gonna be a concentrate. I mean, you could definitely drink the concentrate straight to see what kind of taste you like. Um, but I would say dilute this one-to-one -one with either almond milk, oat milk, regular milk, or water, like anything that you're looking to brew with. And you can even dilute this with hot water if you wanna make it into a hot coffee. The one thing I will say is that with cold brew, we found that something kind of medium roasted works best. Uh, lighter roasted coffees tend to produce some I interesting, but not really delectable flavors. Sometimes they can produce veg vegetal flavors uh, when cold brewing. So I'd say look for something that's medium roasted, slightly more developed than light. You don't have to go completely dark, but slight, slightly more developed tends to produce the best results for cold brewing. And remember the ratio for the concentrate is seven to one. So I hope everyone's staying safe and I hope this video helps you make some cold brew, get into the, the spring mood and I'll, I'll see you next time.